Hello Aquarius. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level, what it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Also, please keep in mind for this reading, I am only channeling through my higher intuitive self. I am not actually um, working with any spirit guides. Only in the end, this reading, I do uh, receive messages and call upon Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel to provide you with some clarity, some guidance in your situation. Some of you might have been in a relationship, could be a situationship, um, you simply may have just exchanged glances across the room. These glances are very hot and heavy and nobody's saying anything. However, there is deception and there's sadness in this connection. Oh my goodness, there's anger. Yikes, Aquarius, what happened? Somebody broke your heart, got you very angry because they were not truthful. Okay, we have here nourishment, followed by opening, boundaries, surrender, grief, hearth and home, wild woman, anger and rage, and then we have wisdom under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you, Aquarius, what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Aquarius, the connection that I have with you, for me, things are starting to change. I see things differently. I feel different. There's a sense of fulfillment when I'm in your company. I feel extremely fulfilled, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. And I realize because you tick all those boxes, you are the person that I have always wanted to be with. You are that perfect person for me. I also feel that in this connection, I want to open up to you. I have broken your heart. I tore your world apart, and all I want to do is just come clean. I know how much pain, suffering, and sorrow have caused you. And for this reason, there's a part of me that just wants to lay it all out. I want to talk to you about what happened. I want to talk to you about what I did, about the things that I hide on the inside, the feelings and emotions that I don't express to you. I do want to talk to you about all of that. But I keep up my boundaries. These boundaries for me are very important because they keep me safe. I know what I've done is wrong. And if I was to put these boundaries aside, I'd have to actually talk to you. The problem is I am hurting as well because of what I did. And so I avoid the situation altogether by doing what? By putting up boundaries. There's a part of me that truly has surrendered itself to you. My heart, my mind, my body. I really do feel that I belong to you and that you belong to me. And it's hard to see this because we are at such a distance. Right now I am grieving. I am feeling sad. There are feelings of remorse and regret, even guilt, for what I have done. For the things that I have said and done, and for the things that I didn't say that I should have. The things that I didn't do that I should have done. I regret a lot of that. 
and I grieve because now I feel that the only person that had my back, the only star in that darkest sky that existed is now fading. In my life, I feel now that you are fading and I'm grieving. I'm afraid that I'm going to lose you forever. In you, I have found a hearth and home. Wherever you are, that is where my home is. Everything that you say and do, it feels to me as though we are just family. I want to put my head on your lap. I want you to tell me that it's going to be okay. I don't show you this. But my heart is breaking because of what I did to you, what I put you through. And it eats me away. It just tears at me. Because I've seen that you are this person that has so much unconditional love. You have always been that person that has love for people that is very forgiving and loving. And this timeless flame that you have that guides me home, this timeless flame that makes me warm, I'm afraid that I'm going to lose that now forever. And why am I afraid of that? Because I've been deceitful. There has been deceit, lies in this connection. I've told you pieces of information, but I never really told you 100% the truth, always taking away a few sentences here and there. What you don't know won't hurt you. But ultimately, it was a lie. I have lied to you. And I know that is not supposed to happen. For this reason, I am so angry at myself. I'm frustrated and annoyed at what I've done to this once beautiful connection that used to be. I'm irritated, annoyed, angry, and just frustrated. There are certain things that have happened, and I now realize that I could have avoided them. I just didn't. Overall, the feeling that I have with you is that of wisdom. You have been a lesson in my life to teach me certain things. And I dare not make or repeat those mistakes again. You are the experience in my life that was supposed to change me into a better person. I only wish that I could tell you how important you are to me. But these boundaries are up because I just can't face you. Right, Aquarius. That was very sad and that was very deep. This person is and they have realized many of the things that they have ever done have just been plain old wrong. What you don't see right now is the fact that they are actually becoming a bit more mature only because there's this sense of realization now that what they've done is wrong. That's the only reason. There's no other reason why they have this type of um, feeling. They have gone through certain things with you. They have learned their lesson. They are now wise. But are you able to see this wisdom? Are you able to see this change in this person's behavior? No, because they still want to open up to you, meaning they have not opened up to you. And why haven't they? Because there's boundaries between the both of you. But ultimately, this person has started to change. They have become a bit wiser. 
they're not as inexperienced and immature as they were before. All right, let's have a look at the Lover's Path Tarot. So with that deck, I look into anything that may have caused the problem in the first place, why things started to go downhill in this connection. All right. Whoa, yikes, okay. We have here the King of Cups. All right. Oh boy, then we have Illusion. Not, not a good card. This will give you better understanding. Maybe this person has told you. Maybe they have not told you. Maybe you've been wondering, why did this person ghost me or why are we separated? Well, some of the reasons are here. Okay, King of Cups. With the King of Cups, this talks about how in the beginning you may have felt that this person was a master of many things. Um, they had a lot of emotional wisdom. And they seem to be the type that like to learn from love relationships. They had the ability to live up to their ideals and dreams. They appeared to be emotionally mature. They had wisdom. They had integrity. Now, this is what it seemed like, okay? It seemed like this. Someone who symbolizes these forces. This is what this person seemed like. But what they ended up doing and behaving as was a person who was having a desire to have more control over their artistic aspirations or even their aspirations. They needed to stop fantasizing and finally get to work because they started behaving in a very inconsistent manner and unreliable. They were unreliable and inconsistent and they had lost that sense of emotional maturity. They had lost the sense of wisdom. They had lost their integrity. Why did they start acting like this? Because of the illusion card. Let's have a look at illusion. Here, in the beginning of this connection, there is a sense of enchantment, lots of emotion, intuition, even fantasies. Things started off fine. This person felt enchanted by love, for better or for worse. But then things started to change. There was a sense of confusion by illusions that may or may have not been real, according to them. There were intense emotions coming from this person. And they finally started to feel the need to know what is real and what is not. Meaning, Aquarius, what is real love and what is not real love? Currently, and the things that made this situation go a bit sour, was this person's sense of delusion, deception, discomfort from the emotions, even the relationship that they were in. They had a lack of satisfaction. Now that is a problem. Having these types of feelings. How can you be in a relationship like that? The reason why this person was unreliable and consistent and just not somebody that you could be with was because they started to feel that maybe this is not true love from their side. When somebody is in love, they will do a lot of good things, right? When somebody realizes that this is not love, they're not going to invest much. They're not going to do much. They're not going to take the effort or put in the effort. They just won't do that. Why? Because they feel that it's not love. Was it love from your side? Most likely, yes. Was it love from their side? They thought it was. But then they realized that it wasn't. They realize that maybe it's not. The fact that they're doubting it means that it was not love. When you know that there's love, you just know it. You just feel it. And you do anything for it. But this person started to doubt themselves and this entire connection. 
Sometimes there's some things that happen that are just too good to be true, Aquarius. You may have just been too sweet, too nice, which is okay. You be yourself. But some people are like, you know, they, they start to wonder, hey, why is Aquarius so nice? Is this even normal? Why and how have I gotten somebody in my life that is so sweet, that is so loving and caring? There has to be a catch. Sometimes it's best to just trust people. But if you've been hurt before, it is hard to trust people. And that is also why this person may not have trusted you, because they have been in a relationship before that may have hurt them. They thought it was true, but it turned out to be false. With you, they thought it's true, and now they're thinking it's false. Okay. So that's something that happened here. Of course, this is a general love reading, okay? So this is not going to resonate with everybody out there. It's only the the class average. Whoever is feeling whatever and the intensity of it is what I see and feel. All right. Let's have a look. This is any action, any intention that this person has towards you. Oh, Page of Cups. I have not seen this card in a while. Okay, now there's two. Let's pull up one. Ace of Cups. Okay, this is not bad so far. Don't want to jump the gun. We have here... These two cards, Hermit and Five of Pentacles. There was one card that was not actually put into the deck properly. That is the Seven of Pentacles, if that means anything to anybody. But I am putting that back. Under the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands. Wow. Aquarius, there's a lot of struggle here. Definitely a lot of struggle. Here, you have a situation, firstly, where this person does want to say sorry. They do want to come back into your life, and they want to say sorry. They want to be with you, but they are hesitant. And yes, is there action here? Yes, they will reach out to you. They are going to somehow, um, it's not even an apology, but it might be an apology also. But it could also be that they're just going to simply reach out to you directly or indirectly but you will get some type of communication from this person now look at this it's a page it's not a knight it's not a king right so this is somebody who's very at this point shy they've lost their mojo they've lost their confidence lost their self-esteem this is somebody who's slowly starting to creep back into your life kind of like a scared bunny they don't really want to um, be very bold because they're afraid they're simply afraid they're intimidated by you now what are they wanting to come back and offering you? They, they want to offer this love, this cup of love, this ace of cups. They want to ask for forgiveness. They want to say sorry, first of all. It's up to you if you allow them, um, if, you, if you want to forgive them, if you allow them back into your life. That's up to you. Um, here we have the fact that they are going to offer um, some love and some affection to you. But they also are trying to make a better balance in this connection by... Um, having a sense of forgiveness, having more harmony, partnership in this connection. Um, I also have here the Hermit card. Now, this is something that this person is doing, internal work. I'm getting the word shadow, internal shadow work. Yes, okay. They have a lot of things that are going on in their life that really should not be burdening them. But the problem is they don't have much of a choice. They get stuck with certain things that occur in their life and it has been to some degree traumatic. The Hermit card is talking about them putting themselves into isolation. This person is putting themselves into isolation. They are disconnecting with the rest of the world, disconnecting with other people. And they're trying to figure out why they do what they do. Why did they behave like this in relationships? Why did they do this to you in particular? So the Hermit card here, for you, it does not mean a lot of action. But for this person, they are taking action, but for themselves. After that, we do have the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles, 
because of the boundaries and because of the distance between the both of you, this person is feeling rejected, neglected. They just, even if they were the ones who pulled back, like if this person, I'll talk in singular, if this person, person was the one that pulled back and they're just keeping their distance, you didn't do that. They did it. The issue here is that they put themselves in this position and are they liable for it? Are they actually admitting it? No, they're not. That's the whole issue. They did something. They went through something. Did they talk about it? Did they come through with it? No, they didn't. What they're trying to do is victimize themselves. They are feeling victimized. This is the problem. They've put themselves into the situation. So if they feel neglected, it's because of their, them behaving like this. If they feel rejected, it's because they are the ones that put themselves in this situation. Because they are the ones who are keeping their distance from you. Part of the reason why is because of this whole hermit phase. They want to grow. They want to become wiser. Remember, you had the wisdom card, right? Which means that the, that the wisdom came after the hermit has gone through a few things. So that's really good. That does mean that this hermit phase will be over at some point. They are going to be a bit more wiser. They're going to know more about relationships and about what to trust and who to trust. They have to start trusting their heart. And they will come to you in a very slow and steady, soft, tiny, gentle little way, like a, like a little lost sheep. Once I talked about a bunny, now I'm talking about a sheep. But it's a shy person who does not want to be very bold but just wants to take a chance. Now, the overall arching theme here, we do have the Seven of Wands. So this does show me that there is still a lot of struggles, a lot of obstacles and distrust and arguments that this person is facing, not just from you, but from other places too. So I do see here that they want to get rid of certain problems in their life first. They want to settle things down first before they come to you because they want to come to you as somebody who's just fresh and brand new. They don't want to have a lot of baggage and a lot of issues lingering on that, w that were lingering before. They don't want to have that anymore. So, yes, I do see them taking action towards you. But also keep in mind, Aquarius, that this person is trying to do some inner work, especially with the Seven of Wands, with the Hermit card, and with the Five of Pentacles. You know, that those are three cards. They outrank the two, right? So there's a lot of work that this person is doing on their own for themselves to make themselves a better person. And it takes time because they're basically reformatting their personality. That takes time. Their beliefs, their ideas, their thoughts, all the patterns that they used to think, they're starting to rethink all that. And that's good. That's what this person needed. That's exactly what happened in this connection. You were the one who sh showed and taught this person um, what love is all about. All right. Just going to do a quick prayer. Let's have a look at what the angels have to say about this. Okay. Oh. Oh, that was my sticky note. All right. So these messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. We have here, take action. The situation will improve. Unlikely. Okay. All right. We have here within the next few weeks, followed by opportunity. Hmm. Too many. There you go. Oh boy, you have an opportunity and it's up to you. So you actually have a choice coming up. Forgiveness. Like I said with the Ace of Cups, there's a sense of forgiveness here. Forgiveness is needed in order to move forward. Okay, we have here no, and then right underneath it we have another no, okay? So there's something going on here. No, 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 not the right time. 
Just keep that in mind, Aquarius. No, no, not the right time. All right. So, if I didn't already announce it, these messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Here we have Aquarius. The first card's the strongest. They do want you to take action. They don't want you to stay quiet anymore. Once you will start to take action, the situation will start to improve, but it won't improve the way you had expected it to. It's going to be unlike something that you had thought of. Within the next few weeks or months, you are going to receive some type of an opportunity. This opportunity will include a relationship opportunity with somebody else. That is going to be up to you to take that opportunity. Either some of you are going to find somebody else, somebody's going to approach you. Remember, opportunities come for a reason. Try to listen to your intuition, take the opportunity if that is what you think is suitable for you at that time. So there's going to be an opportunity. And it's going to be up to you if you take it. But then there's also going to be an opportunity. And it's going to be up to you if you want to forgive this person and go back to that person. So you may have two people. But then you may decide, oh, I want to go back with my person of interest. I don't want to be with this new person. But I want to try and forgive this person that I was with before. Now, they also have here the card No. With no, it does indicate that in this connection, the majority of you, um, like I said, there was no no and it's not the right time. Um, some of you may be really hoping, um, you just want to settle down and you're kind of hoping to you know, quicken things up. It's not going to happen like that. It does say here the situation will improve. You are going to receive an opportunity. You have a timeline here, the next few weeks or months. Now, forgiveness is not easy. I know that. I've already explained a few times in my other um, recordings that forgiveness is like a negative energy bubble, or rather, the grudge. The grudge of not wanting to forgive somebody. That's like a negative energy bubble that orbits around our, our mind, around our bodies. And all it does is increase, and it creates negative energy. We already have many. We don't need an extra one. The best way of forgiving somebody is by understanding the situation thoroughly and then realizing that, you know what, they just didn't know any better. Had they known better, they wouldn't have behaved like this. But they did what they thought was right at that time because that's all they knew. And that's the easiest way of forgiving somebody. But do you forget it? No. You don't forget it because you're not supposed to, because now that is an experience. And just like this person has become wise, you also become wiser by learning from the experience and making sure you never repeat it again. And if in the future you ever encounter a situation like this, then you will be able to understand that, okay, you know what, I've been through this and this is what I did before. This is what I have to do in order to move on. It's important not to repeat any of the mistakes that have ever happened before. It's also important to see the red flags so that you just don't get into that situation again. And even if you do, you know what to say before things even start to get messy. So Aquarius, do I see things improving for you? I do. Um, there's a great opportunity happening. They want you to take action. The situation's going to improve. Um, this is up to you. There's two things that are going to happen. Either you're going to have a chance with this person, but it's only going to work if there's a, a chance of forgiveness, or you're completely going to start with somebody brand new. And that's okay. That's fine too. That is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situation. Do let me know in the comments below if this has resonated with any of you. I do want to just make a quick announcement. Um, on my other channel, Astointia Audio, I have, or hopefully I'll be able to put these up on time, um, I have two new videos. So 
One is going to be called What Not to Do When a Man Ghosts You. And another one is Why Women Ghost You. Mixed messages. So um, partly these are because of the information that people have given to me and they've requested from me, especially some of my male clients. Um, there's pieces of information that everybody gives to me when I'm doing readings. So I have personally noticed some trends and patterns and behaviors. Um, and I thought, you know what? It's like everybody's going through the same situation. There's just slight different variations. And so what I really want to do is just put that all together and then create um, two different types of videos um, for two sets of different types of people. And so hopefully you guys will find that um, enlightening and helpful. And um, that information comes only through and with you guys. Um, it's not any external kind of research that I've done. It's just all of the feelings and emotions that I have experienced through you um, regarding your person of interest or even yourself. So that will be up hopefully soon. Thank you, Aquarius, for tuning in. I will see you guys again. Take care. Stay safe. Bye now.